A card made out of memories from the other side of your heart? Hmm, I wonder what it does. We'll find out soon enough. It's the only one we have left. No other way to move forward. What's wrong? Something feels really strange. I'm sure I don't know this place, but it's starting to feel like it's familiar to me. You must have come here sometime before. No, and that's what's strange. It could be like with Nomine. You forgot lots of other stuff, and that's why you remember this place now. No, it's different. With Namine, my memories sort of came drifting back to me, a little piece at a time. But not now. It's not memories, just this idea that I must have been here before. So, <sighs> feeling nostalgic? Sora, a question then for you. Your memories of Namine or your feelings here? Which of the two of these is more real, I wonder? Namine, of course. Whatever it is that I'm feeling, I bet it's just another one of your mean little tricks. <laughs> the memory's wiles can be cruel. In its silence, we forget. In its obsession, it binds our hearts. Cut the riddles! I told you, this place was created solely from another side of your memory. It is on the other side of your heart that the memory of this place exists. It is your heart that remembers. You're wrong! I don't know this place! If you remain bound by the chain of memories, and refuse to believe what is truly found inside your heart, then throw it away. You are not a Keyblade Master, just a slave to twisted memories. Yes, exactly like my Riku. Your existence is worth nothing! 
Like your... Riku? Worth nothing? That's enough! You're the one who changed, Riku! Every word you've said is a lie! I'd never throw away my heart! I'm gonna take you down and save Riku and Naminé! That's... what's in my heart! You have such strength, even at the mercy of your memory. None of that matters. Just put Riku back! <laughs> Just put him back? The Riku you speak of has but one fate to sink into the darkness. And you will share that fate, Sora. If you continue to seek the girl Namine, the shackles will tighten. You'll lose your heart and end up becoming Marluxia's pawn. Marluxia? What does Namine have to do with... Uh. Ah! Uh. Axel! Yo, Sora. Did I catch you at a bad time? <laughs> Axel, why? I came to stop you from talking too much. By eliminating your existence. No! Don't do it! We are just nobodies who have no one to be, yet we still are. But now you can be nothing instead of just being a nobody. You're off the hook. No! Please don't! I don't want to- Goodbye. What are you? What are you people? <laughs> Don't know. I wonder about that myself. Nice work. I say good riddance to that blabbermouth. Marluxia, you used Vexen to test Sora's strength, didn't you? Not just Sora's, it was yours too. We weren't sure if you actually had it in your bones to take out a fellow member. Well, I guess that you did. It's time to join up. Taking over the organization will be like child's play with the three of us. So that's where Sora comes in. Of course. He wants to see Naminé, so why don't we just give him what he wants? Rejoice, Naminé. The time is near for you to meet the hero that you've been longing for. I'm... glad. But I'm warning you. You better not do anything to betray Sora's feelings. Do you understand me, little one? I understand. All you need do is layer Sora's memories and bring his heart closer to you. Sora. Even if you come for me, what then? Oh, Riku! You'll hurt Naminé if you go further. Uh, you still want to fight? But Vexen's gone, so now you're free! It doesn't matter what happens to him. I'm protecting Naminé from you. That's what's in my heart. Sora, I made a promise to Naminé. I promised to keep her safe. You did? There was a meteor shower. This one night when she and I were little. <gasps> Naminé got scared and said, what if a shooting star hits the islands? So I told her, 
If a shooting star comes this way, I will protect you. You made a promise! With a toy sword! What? How do you know about that? Because... That was the promise I made to her that night. I would protect her. I said it. Don't lie! You weren't the one there that night! You're the one who wasn't there! That was when... She gave her good luck charm to me! Her what? See? Uh, tell me... Where did you get that? Sora... Good try. Huh? That must be a fake! I've got the real one right here! Well, two of them? Fake should be destroyed! Riku! It's just like mine. How'd he get this? It turned into a cord. What's going on? Let's just keep moving, okay? It doesn't matter. It does matter. How can two of you have the same memory? You can't both be right. I'm wrong. Fine, then don't believe me. <laughs> That's not what he meant. We're just kind of worried. Then let's ask Naminé. That should clear it up. Look. We don't have time to sit around, so let's go! Sora, what happened to you? What's that mean? Well, you always get real touchy when it comes to stuff about Naminé. But before we came to this castle, you didn't even remember what her name was. Now Naminé's the only thing you talk about. It doesn't make sense. Maybe you should just slow down and think ahead about some of these things. Think ahead? What is the matter with you guys? Do you want me to abandon her? No, that's not it. Then do whatever you want. You can lay back and take a nap for all I care. I'm going to find Naminé. Sarah! You're all that he's got left. So then, if you don't stop this, no one will. But I... it's too late. You shouldn't give up just yet. Say, Naminé, have you noticed... Marluxia doesn't seem to be around. What are you... saying? Just that there's no one here who would want to get in your way. <laughs> Just make it count. Now this... should be interesting. Try and make it enjoyable, Sora. It's the least you can do for me, you know. <laughs> oh. Hey, wait. I'm enjoying this. You guys are something else. <laughs> 